Hello everyone, today's topic is Hotspot, Heibach and CIB methods for stress evaluation welded structures. It is about structural hotspot stress. To begin, brief introduction to the individual methods. The hotspot method, picture left, is most popular tool to define weld in FAR. The weld geometry is modeled with a 35 degree chamfer. Because of singularities at the weld transition, the hotspot stress is described using two or three stress values at specific reference points, extrapolated value. A simplification of the hotspot method is provided by Heibach's method. He suggests that the stress are evaluated between 2-3 mm before the weld transitions. And the CIB method, picture right, was developed at uh, the University of Dortmund in Germany by the Chemical Apparats Construction Working Group. The weld is replaced by a radius. Radius is root 2 multiplied by weld sides A. For hotspots method, air two tubes of hotspots. Tube A hotspots are located in the plate surface and tube B hotspots are located in the plate edge. To extrapolation by hotspots method, extrapolation is depending on the tube of hotspots and mesh sides. Here in overview picture you can see different extrapolations. Example for hotspot tube A with a fine mesh, you can use formula 1, linear extrapolation, or formula 2, quadratic extrapolation. You have to posi position nodes with the correct distance in the FIR model. A very simple example, welding joint. Here you can see dimensions and load case. Thickness is 20 mm and welding sides 10 mm. It is very simple welding connection with uh, the intention to investigate a hotspot of tube A. Recommendation for hotspot tube A, extrapolation with formula 1, element tube isoparametric parabolic hexahedron, hex 20, 20 knots, element, element sides smaller than 0.4 from thickness. Here it is 8, 20 mm. Today I will use elements of 8, 4 and 2 mm to compare. But first we need to prepare CID. Imprint lines in CID with distance for hotspot and Heibach methods and create, create radius for CIB methods. And additional cut geometry in a simple form for meshing process. Save it to the step file and go to PrepoMax. Here again prepared CID with imprint lines with distance for hotspot on and hyper. First calculation is hotspot, import geometry. And create compound part. After this create meshing parameter with uh, min element size of 8 mm create additional mesh setup transfinite mesh and create mesh First calculation with element size 8 mm. Create reference point for force. Material is steel, elastic. Define solid, solid section for my part. After this rigid connect reference point with top surface, create step static, define fixed boundary conditions on the side and, and force in Z direction.
Save Model. Run Simulation. To result, I will compare max principal stress. Look the max principal stress at nodes on, on the lines for hotspot extrapolation. Now you can see stresses, values for extrapolation. I copy the results into Excel file and calculate hotspot stress. It is 116.2.5 MPa. After this, I repeat all steps with geometry for, for Heibach method, delete mesh, Delete geometry, import Heibach CID, update boundary conditions. and run simulation. Here are the results for Heibach simulation with hexahedral element sites at 8 mm. Copy it into my Excel file. And finally, calculate welding joint with CIB method. Here are the results, hotspot, Heibach and CIB method. After this I refine the mesh to 4 and to 2 mm and repeat calculation for all methods, hotspot, Heibach and CIB. After this I test additional the same calculation with tetrahedral parabolic elements, TET10. Here you can see complete overview results in Excel. I create a table with results from all calculation, different element sites and element tube. Of course, it is any open points and questions. Can mesh be too fine? Recommendation for 10 element sites. Investigations at hotspot to B. Can I use elements parabolic pyramid? So it was for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.